So now it's time to start our new project. First of all, I will create the screen, the bottom bar screen. And sometimes I will copy the previous code from my previous project and explain it in details. Do not waste so much time. So I have already created a new project. Let me delete this. And I will create a screen folder. Screens. It will contain the main screens of our application. Home.chart. The feeds. The search. And the cart. And the user info. Okay, so I will return a center text for each of the five different screens. First of all, we need to import the material.art and create a stateless widget. Let's call this user info. Because it's a screen, we need to return a scaffold. And let's return a center as a body center and a text view named user user info. And for sure, don't forget to add a child. Let me copy this and paste it in here. Let's change the name to search. Same for here. Oh, home, home, and here the feeds, and here the cart. Let's see how it looks first. Let me return the cart inside of the main screen, and for sure there is no. There is nothing as a constructor. Okay, so let me save it. Hard reload it. Okay, we need to hard restart it. Okay, so here our text view. Now we need to create the bottom bar screen. Let me create it first. Bottom bar the dart. I will copy the previous code and explain it in details. Now let's create a new file contain the bottom bar screen. In here, let's create a new file, bottom bar the dart. It must be a stateful widget. But for now, I will just copy my previous code from my previous project and I will explain it in details. The bottom bar screen must be a stateful widget because once the user press on another tab, the selected index will be changed. We will also use a list of maps of page that contains the main screen of our application. We need also to initialize it in the in its state. So here I initialize it a key for each map, a page key, and the name of each screen. We also need a select page method that change the index of, of the page once the user press on. Uh, bottom bar bottom so in here we will return a scaffold because it's a screen and as a body we will use our map and give uh, the select index for it and give the key to to indicate which page must appear in here we initialize the bottom bar and we initialize the shape of it and the margin notch you can for sure change the notch it will be different I returned in here a container to change the height of the bottom navigation bar, but you don't have actually to do it. In here we initialized again the bottom navigation bar. It contained a on-tab method. 
which we gave it uh, the select method, the select page method uh, to change the index page. And we gave a few items like the background color, the unse unselected item color, and like that. For the items, it contained first of all button navigation bar item. It contains an icon and a title like text home. We repeated that uh, five times for each of our screen, the feeds and the search and the cart and the user screen. And finally, we added the floating action button. We gave it a padding of eight and we gave it a method on press to set, st to set state the select page index to two to navigate to the third screen. And we actually added the floating action button location over here and we choose it the center of it. Let me now hot reload to the application to show you what happened. Oh, I forgot to to add the bottom navigation to the main screen. Let me import it first. So now you can see that it appears as at that page, hit the card, hit the user, and here's the search. So let's continue in the next video.